Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penj, and it's time for a little bit more Farm Manager 2018. So last time out, we did this. This very thing that is before your eyes right now. We created four big fields. So they're 75 by 75 fields. It's very good. And they're going to be orchards. That is the, the long-term plan. And we've built various bits and bobs here to then deal with the orchards. So we've got vehicle sheds, if you like. So we can put the farm equipment in there. We've got ourselves a storehouse. And we've got ourselves the two houses here. So the little houses for the people to live in. So actually, <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit of a carnage, this, isn't it? So that, this house here is for the seasonal workers. So the seasonal workers have this massive, what, three... Well, ground floor, first floor, and presumably a second floor house. The, the permanent workers have eight people crammed into this little tiny house. I mean, I mean, what are they doing? Are they, are, are they sharing beds in there or what? I don't know. <laughs> that would be very cramped for eight people, I would have thought. And this looks very, very spacious indeed. And no, there's a little roof thing. I mean, do these seasonal workers fight to see who goes in the roof? Because that's got to be the glam room in there, surely. That's got to be the best room. The one up there with the with the fancy pants view and the thing out there and the roof bit and it's gonna that's gonna have an ensuite, isn't it? That's gonna have an ensuite in there. So um yeah, they must fight over that. But anyway, <laughs> just distracted by anything. So we put them in, so that's fine. So all this is ready, all this is ready. Uh we need to buy the farm equipment first, but we are waiting for another 17 days until we have trained in practical training in negotiation skills, which gives us 10%, I think it was 10%, off of all the vehicle costs, which is good. Uh, well, vehicles and farm equipment and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yes, we shall have 10% cheaper cost for that once that's done. So we're going to wait a little while. So there are a few little bits and bobs to do. This field here has got... Is that weeds? Yes, weeds. It's got weeds on it. I don't quite know how this stuff here... When we go and spray this, I don't know how the, the thing, the magic... You know, the lovely chemicals, the lovely, lovely chemicals, volatile chemicals. I don't know how... It identifies weeds as opposed to the actual crop. I don't know what kind of magic and witchcraft that is, but okay, that's fine. Uh, right, you two can do that. Yeah, tractor lady can do that for now because she's not doing anything else currently at the minute. There are no tractors for her to drive. So we'll spray that. That's good. The other fields, let's press tab. There we go. Um, the other fields are looking okay. So these fields are ready for, they're kind of ready for harvesting. Which is not ideal, but we're going to leave them as long as we can. Because the bees are still using them to make lots of lovely, lovely honey, which is jolly exciting. Okay, tomatoes here are done. So let's go and harvest the tomatoes from that place there. Shouldn't take too long. And also those strawberries there are ready as well. Uh, I think the coals are filled. Ooh, yes, cows are ready for the inseminator to come around. Okay, that's good. You don't see that too often. Uh, yeah, just there, you guys will do. Now, in theory, we should see that a little bit more frequently for the cows, the sheep, and the pigs. Because one of the things that we unlocked, one of the training things that we carried out, was to increase their rate of breeding by 10%. Now, the cows are by far the slowest at doing the whole breeding thing. The, sh the, and the pigs are probably, of those three, the pigs probably breed more than the sheep. And then certainly the cows are sort of way down the order. So, um, yeah, that's good, though. That's good, at least. At least they're going to be doing something. Right, there's been a few comments made. Thank you very much for comments. I enjoy the comments. Please keep them coming. Uh, hang on, turkeys. I oh, know I did the turkeys. I did turkeys. Okay, one of them was about these pumps that I put in. Apparently, they either don't work. Some people said I can't get them to work. Or they're not particularly good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some wells. Yay. So let's just drop in a few wells as as well. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Oh, dear. So, uh, yeah, if we drop one in there... Maybe one there and then one at the end. Let's just put it next to that pump. Whatever, that'll do. And then put a few up here. I think we can hopefully tuck one behind that big building. Oh, yes, we can put one just there, one just there. Yeah, okay, that looks good. That looks like I knew what I was doing. Yeah, that was entirely planned, that was. <laughs> no way was that absolute just fortune happening. Uh, okay, we'll drop a well there and a well kind of in the middle and then a well sort of over there. So hopefully wherever they need to... Wherever they park the um, the tractor with the sprinkler thing, they can drop it into the well. Yeah, now, see, I, I haven't used these pumps before. I don't think they're in the demo version, and I've not used them in the full version of the game yet. But yes, a few people have said, one. Some, someone said, I think that they're a bit rubbish, um, and that the range isn't particularly useful on them, because they have to go far away to then come back to go far away to come back to get water out of them. But yeah, someone else said they couldn't get them to work, which isn't particularly good either. That doesn't really help much either, does it? Uh, right, weeds. Let's clear some of these alerts. Ready for breeding. Yeah, ready for harvest. Jolly good. Right, we'll leave those two in there. What on earth is that? Plant cabbage seedlings. Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. 
I don't want to do that right now. We've got other stuff growing. It's all good. It's all good. Um, another idea might be when we put our juice factory over here. Because over here is going to be the juice factory. It's going to be this one, the juice factory. We might as well have a big one as well. So 650 grand it's going to cost to build. 392 a month to just keep it maintained. Plus the wages of the people in there. We've got cherries and we've got apples. And that's fine. And that's what we're going to grow here. We're going to have two cherry fields, orchards, whatever they are, and two apple orchards. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of those. So... Uh, when they get harvested, the juice factory is going to be very, very busy. But obviously, these things only get harvested once a year. Certainly, the apples do. I'm not sure about the cherries quite yet, but the apples only get harvested once a year. So, at one point, the juice factory is going to be really busy. It's going to have loads of stuff in it, and it's going to go, Yes, thank you, I've got loads of stuff to work on. Bish, bash, bosh. It shall make lots of things, and it shall be splendid. However, at other points of the year, when there's no crops here, when the orchards are growing... Uh, well, the fruit is growing in the orchards. The juice factories, the people in there are going to be sat twiddling their thumbs, looking out the window, you know, wishing they're on holiday or whatever. So we might possibly want to build ourselves some greenhouses along here, opposite to the juice factory, or maybe even behind. We could put it, ah, we could put it here, look. We could put them behind here and um, have tomatoes growing in them. And then at least we can get tomato juice made because we can send the tomatoes into the factory and at least have something, at least have the factory producing something to, you know, help it pay its way. The other option is to buy stuff in, but I'll look at that close to the time and we're not quite there yet. We are not there yet. Do you know what? Let's just hurry time on. There's a lot of birds in these fields. Ah, I know what I could put on the fields. Let's put on some scarecrows. Uh, yeah, they don't have much range, the scarecrows, do they? They're very short range, <laughs> short range scarecrows. But do you know what? That's fine. Oh, hang on. I put one in the middle and it does the whole field, does it? Uh, I don't get that. Do we just need one in the middle of the f I don't understand. I don't get that. Does that mean that works that whole field or not? I don't know. Right, hang on. There's birds on that field right now. What if we drop one in the middle? No, the bird is still there. <laughs> it doesn't care. We need scarier scarecrows. Can we have scarier scarecrows, please? Can we research that? Is that a training thing? I know. Yeah, like show them. Yeah, make them bigger. Or more terrifying. Show them, like, biting the head off a bird or something. I mean, that might work. That, that'd be terrifying for a bird. Landing and seeing one of their, you know, one of their comrades having his head ripped off by an evil scarecrow. That would do the job, wouldn't it? Cows. Yes. Jolly exciting. Um, oh, my goodness. They've, that's been harvested. Ah, good. Those tomatoes have been harvested, which is splendid. Now that field has fungus on it. Wowee. This field up here is terrible. Right, okay, anti-fungus. Yes, go and do that, please. Right, you are. Okay, yeah, that field is not having a good time. It's had weeds. Now it's got fungus. Okay, go and do this with that. Just there, splendid. Uh, yeah, this is definitely working as well. This little thing here next to the greenhouses is working the store area. So thank you very much, everybody, who suggested that. I hadn't really considered that as a thing. So, yes, thank you very much. That's good, though. It's good. It means the time for harvest is shorter. So I don't have to walk all the way down here. They can just go bop, 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 bop and kind of come in and, yeah, put all the stuff in there. It's actually a very, very busy, fairly busy warehouse, to be fair. There's quite a lot of stuff in there. Cucumber seeds. Ah, I was going to plant some cucumbers in here, wasn't I? <laughs> Shall we do that? That might be a good idea because they go off soon. So, um, yeah, anyone. Just anyone go in and, and put cucumbers in ground. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, they're ready for breeding. Very exciting times. Another thing we're going to do is, and I know I keep faffing about with the bees. I'm going to adjust, not now because the bees are doing their thing. They're doing their honey making thing. But at some point over the winter when the bees are not doing anything, when they're having a, you know, they're having a couple of seasons off, it's fine. Half the year off for a bee. Be nice, wouldn't it? Um, what we're going to do is... Which ones are ready for breeding? None of them are ready for breeding. Don't lie. Oh, no, those cows. Oh, the cows. Okay, this is good. Um, what we're going to do is... This seems a bit silly to me. Somebody else has kind of commented on this and said it's a bit strange. So down here, we've got six beekeepers around a field of colza and a field of buckwheat, which is fine. That was the original plan. And then up here, we've got two cottages next to a field of buckwheat and a field of colza. Which seems a little bit weird. Why don't I, in the downtime, in the down season, move these, move these guys. So pick out, well, yeah, make these people not look after them temporarily. Go, no, don't look after bees up here. Demolish those buildings, demolish the beekeeper huts. Put them down here 
I don't know, along here perhaps, next to this, and relocate those people in this house, and then have the eight beekeeper cottages, whatever they are, buildings, beekeeper buildings, I always call them beekeeper cottages, I'm not entirely sure why, um, have them all round here, so I don't have to have two fields down here, and two fields up there, because that seems a little bit pointless, why don't I just have all the beekeeping things in one, one area? I don't know why I've kind of split them up into two. I'm sure there was reasoning at some point. Really poor, ill-conceived reasoning. But I'm sure there was some sort of logic behind it. But no more, alas, no more. Aha, right, more of these. Yes, lovely. Go go do some harvesting. Splendid. Animals ready for breeding. Um, it's Is that the pigs? Yeah, pigs. This is good. One day left on this thing, which is splendid news. Because then we can go and buy ourselves some farm equipment. At long last, when this thing finishes, eventually. Right, good. That's finished. Uh, let's pick another thing to research now. We might as well train or whatever. Uh, machine durability, 10%. Not too bothered. We're not going to be using that many at the minute. 10% cheaper workers. Could be useful. It's only seven days and it's three grand. That's actually probably quite good. That's quite good in the, in the long run. Uh, cows, pigs, sheep, goats, the top level buildings. We do want to get those at some point. Not right now. Strength of employees is only 14 days for five grand. Reduces the price of buildings by 10%. Does that get up? Yeah, okay, so that increases. That's quite good. Reduces the price of buildings. It takes quite a long time to do. However, this is the stuff I was kind of thinking about. Increases the minimum price of products and crops. Increases the maximum price of products and crops. So yeah, I think we start getting this. I think we start doing that kind of thing. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe over the winter we get this one as well. Larger collection of honey by 10%. That's good. Then you've got the stuff to reduce the stuff on the fields, but I'm not that bothered by that right now. Fruit harvest by 10%. Yeah, we want to get that by the time these fields are ready. Just want to get that. There's so many things. There's so many things we need to do. So much stuff. Rate of production would be really good. Storehouse capacity is always a good thing. Um, let's get this one. 10% cheaper workers. It's only seven days. So if we do that now, that's just nice and easy. Just get out of the way. Get it done right now. Okay. Now we can go and buy ourselves some farm equipment because it's 10% cheaper, which is good. That's not to be sniffed at. Okay, right. I've written it down. So last time, if you uh, if you watched the last video, I wrote down what we needed because I needed to know the different sizes, whether they're medium or small or large or whatever, to then build the appropriate kind of storage areas for them. So I know kind of what we need. So let's go through. Combines and choppers we don't need because it's an orchard. That's for kind of fields and stuff. We don't need that. Cultivators we do need. Now... There are two of these. There's the Esther Cultivator, or the, I don't know how you pronounce it, Rodon? Rodon? Raiders of Rodon! That kind of thing. I'll call it Rodon, because it sounds far dr more dramatic. Um, the Rodon Cultivator is big, so it's wider. So it's 8.48 metres wide. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to buy this one. So that you, you could just think, well, just buy that one. It's smaller. It's a bit cheaper. It's not, that, I mean, in turn, we've got over a million dollars. And that's, what? Not that much more. It's $2,000 more. And once these fields are ploughed, so these are orchards. So once they're ploughed, we'll plough them, we'll cultivate them, we'll fertilise them, and then we'll put the trees in, the seeds or whatever they are. And then I think that's all we need to do. I don't think we need to go through and do all the stuff again. We might need to fertilise them at some point. I'm not entirely sure. But um, we definitely don't need to plough them or cultivate them again because that's done then then we just leave them they're just an orchard and you just leave orchards alone and they just do their thing so what we're going to do is we'll buy this the big one and then when we're done here when we then start building other stuff other fields somewhere else maybe on this tile over here or whatever when we start building fields of you know wheat and crops and grain and stuff we'll just move it over to from this little sort of storage area garage to the other one one where it's going to be used more frequently and, and it's wider, so it'll be quicker. So let's buy this for now. Let's buy one of those. There's not a um, there's not a new a, a used one, sorry. So we'll have a new one. Yeah, whatever. Put it in that garage. That will do just fine. Right, fertilizers. Yes, we're going to need a manure spreader. Um, good condition or new? Do you know what? New. It's not that much difference. There's not that much difference with these little things. It's not too bad with something like the combine harvester. The difference can be you know 100 gram, which is quite significant. But that there, 
three two to five one isn't actually that much of a condition, uh, much of a difference, is it? So yeah, we'll have that. We'll have the manure spreader. Yep, you can go in there as well. Splendid. So we've got the cultivator. I'm going to tick these off as we go. I wrote everything down. I've got. I'm, I'm equipped here with my pencil, mechanical pencil. Love a mechanical pencil. Um. Yep. So tick off the cultivator. Tick off the manure spreader. Next should be uh, a plow. Have I written these in the right order? Probably haven't written these in the right order, have I? Uh, mowers and balers we don't need. Others? What was others? Oh, it was the little potato machine. But no, we don't need the potato machine. Okay, yes, yeah, so it is a plow. So we've got the, the lily plow, which is two meters wide. Or we might as well just have the Rodon, Rodon plow. Because um, it's four meters wide. And do you know what? We'll just go for a new one because it's whatever. 200 and something more. That's absolutely fine. So we'll pop that into that garage, which is splendid. Right. What else? Sowers and planters. Yes, we need one of these. We need an orchard planter. So a new machine. <laughs> 324. 324. Is that all it is? Good grief. Um, oh yeah, pears. I didn't see pears as as one of the as one of the options. Can you not make pear juice? You, you can make perry out of it, which is pear cider. Can we not start making some cider drinks, please? That'd be good. Yeah, could we not use apples to make cider? I want a cider factory, please. That'd be splendid. Um, Yeah, okay, so pears. Pears is an option. I haven't even considered pears because we can't use them in the juice factory, so I kind of just entirely overlooked them. Um, Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Right, well, let's get the orchard planter then. That's a small, which is beautiful. So that goes in the little sort of little shed. Sprayers and watering. Uh, okay, right, an orchard sprayer. Now, the difference in that is fairly significant, but I'm going to go for the new one because a bad one, that looks like it's going to fall apart. We'll open the garage door, a breeze will roll in, and that'll just collapse in a, into a heap. So let's get the new one. It's not that bad, to be fair. It's not The cost of these is not too bad, given the money we're making. And also, given that we've kind of got this pile of cash here, it's like potential cash, we've got quite a lot of buckwheat, honey masses more of multiflower honey and to be fair a fairly nice chunk of um colza honey as well all just sitting there this is all pending cash that'll probably bump us up to 100 and, oh, uh, 100 1.25 million so one and a quarter million i would have thought when we sell all that so you know i think spending a little bit more on these sort of things is absolutely fine uh okay right watering the thing so we've, we've got the plow we've got the orchard thing above right the orchard sprayer so, we need a sprayer sprinkler. Oh, no, we've got the sprayer. That's the sprayer we just got, wasn't it? Not this one. So, these things, which is what you would use on a field, the trailers with water, can't be used in an orchard. So, we're going to have to buy a sprinkler. It's a new machine. That is absolutely fine. Let's put that in the small garage. Jolly good. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want to do is the trailer. And there's a reason for this. So, it's a box trailer. It can hold all the fruit. Yes, please. Medium garage. Splendid. The last thing we need is a tractor. And there are... Well, okay, yeah. There's there's a, a bad condition orchard tractor, which, to be fair, I probably wouldn't go for because for 10 grand, I might as well have a brand new shiny machine rather than what... <laughs> that is terrible. That is terrible. Again, we'll open the door or talk too loudly next to it and it would just fall apart. So, no, I don't want one of those. I think we go for, right now one of these ones so either the etos or the riga tractor and that is because these things can pull the plows and the cultivators the orchard tractors cannot actually do the plowing and the cultivating so the plan is we get one of these i'm tempted to go for that blue one just because it's different and blue and it looks a bit bigger than the other one hang on hang on which one's got bigger wheels that's very important in the consideration of a tractor uh, oh, I think the wheels might kind of be the same. I don't know. But yeah, the wheels kind of look the same size to me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the blue one. I'm going to go for the blue one because it's blue and I'm easily swayed by... <laughs> easily swayed by a shiny new thing that we've not had before. So, um, yes, we're going to have this tractor then. We'll buy this. We shall use this to do the ploughing and the cultivating and that kind of stuff and the fertilising on these fields. And then... We shall buy ourselves an orchard tractor to then keep the orchards going. And when we build other fields for, you know, the rest of it, crops, wheat and rye and everything else, this tractor can then get moved over to wherever the new fields are and then can be used there permanently. But for now, we need a tractor that can actually do the work on these fields. Because, yes, the orchard tractors are very good at doing the 
collection and very good at doing the spraying and they can do the watering and they can do a tiny bit of ploughing, a teeny tiny bit of ploughing um, and they can also do the planting but they can't do fertilising, there's no option for it to fertilise anything and it can't do the cultivating. So they're kind of just for, for use when the orchard is in. When the orchard is done, they can maintain it, but they can't actually get the ground sorted. So we'll have one of these right now, please, very much. Let's have a blue one. It's very exciting. We'll have one of those, please. And can we buy the orchard tractor anyway? Have we got room for it? No. Okay, so we can't have that right now. So we need to build another garage eventually at some point and then just have the orchard tractor with that. But that blue tractor will suffice right now anyway. It's all good. It's all fine. Okay, what's been going on? What's going on? Ah, right, that's ready. Oh no, 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 not that. That's the that's the chicken. Yeah, I damn you, chickens. That's the chickens. Right, you are. What else is going on? Not too much, to be fair. Not a lot is going on at all. Let's hurry time on very, very quickly indeed. Speed it on. Let's get this thing done. Hopefully, we should see all that. There's our shiny blue tractor. Very good. I, I, who drives that in? Because somebody just drove it in there, and then, and then they didn't come out again. <laughs> Are we putting them in the fertilising stuff for the fields? I don't know. I don't know how the tractor got there, but okay, that's fine. So yes, time can tick down. We'll get this methods of recruitment thing done, and then we'll get... Yeah, we need to pick our next training thing. I don't know what to go for. I don't know what to go for. Before the next year, I do want... Because now it's coming to the end of sort of honey season. So we need to spend 60 days certainly getting the honey thing in getting the improvement in honey for an extra 10% of that, that would be well worth doing. And then we also want, before these are ready, the fruit. We want the 10% increase in fruit production, which shall be very good. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Okay, training. Machine durability, not too bothered. 20% cheaper workers. Again, not that bothered right now. Strength of employees by 20% might be quite good. I see eventually we want to get this. In fact, yeah, the juice factory. We want to get that in before we put the juice factory in because that's quite a lot. And 10% is quite a chunk from the um, however much it costs, 600 grand. That's quite a lot of money saved. No, let's do this. Increases the minimum price of products and crops by 10%. Two and a half grand outlay, 14 days. That's pretty good. I think that sounds good. Um, and now we should be able to start working on these fields. If I need to at least get maybe two of them in, I don't know. Um, machines! Right, let's autofill everything. Yeah, so Sienna Moore, the fancy new blue tractor, which is very exciting, and the plough. Off you pop. Let's go and do this. Let's go and see how this is going to work. This is good. This, this is our first proper field. One thing I don't understand about this is that the scarecrows are in the field now. How does she, like, with a massive tractor, with a big plough behind her, how does she work her way round the scarecrows? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm thinking about things too much. Right. Poodle time on. There we go. Get in the tractor. Get the plough. Come over here. Do the stuff. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Look at it. It looks tremendous. Right. So you need to do that to all of these fields. You need to do that really quickly, please. <laughs> That'd be great. If you could hurry that along, that would be splendid. Okay. Crop quality is coming down there a little bit. That's still growing, so that's not so bad. The moisture's going up, which is good. Yeah, we need to water this. Yeah, I still think this is a bug. I think there is a bug with orchards that um, the rain doesn't affect an orchard for some reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Pigs, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't affect it. I don't know why. Rain doesn't fall on orchards or something. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. Uh, you bear fruit. Yeah, that field of buckwheat is good. You're looking okay. Soil moisture should be going up. Coles of field, I would have thought, given that it's pouring with rain. I would have thought that would have been increasing. But no, I don't know. Animals ready for breeding. It's, uh, it's you lot again. Chickens and turkeys. Yeah, the turkeys need to go, really. The turkeys don't bring anything extra to the party. So, um, yeah, we'll get rid of the turkeys, I think. I think replace them with goats at some point, perhaps. Um, do you know what? Should we do that? No, because we don't want a little goats thing. We might as well have a medium-sized goats thing or a large one. In fact, can we have... We can get a medium goat shed, whatever it is. A medium shed. Building adapted for breeding goats and sheep. We could always have a medium one of those in, just for something different. And then that will give us goat's milk. And we can sell the goat's milk. How profitable is, um, is goat's milk? Oh, hang on. Right, we need to make sure that we're on this. Uh, so yeah, let's get this field ploughed. Again, just do the same thing, please. Yeah, do that. 
well, at least those two first double months, cultivate them both, fertilise them, because it's getting toward the end of August, sort of come to September. We do need to hurry things on a little tiny bit. Yeah, should we just put a medium shed in for the goats and sheep? Because that'll probably be one of the last ones that I do. Because I'm going to spend, the, the, the big one I want to get is the large cow sheds. So that's certainly top of the list, really. Once we've researched all these other nice little sort of bits which increase our profits a tiny bit, we're going to have this. We're going to go for the large cow shed. So it might be a while before we get the medium shed. So do you know what? Let's do that now, shall we? Let's do that. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Let's do that. I find it very jarring when that happens. When you pause it, the, all the noise stops. And it's very strange. It's very eerie. Because there's always a background hum of something. Particularly with these things in, the big factories, there's always like a background noise. When you pause it, it's very, very noticeable. It's very glaring in your ears that there's suddenly no noise. Uh, ah, the orchard is ready. Yay. Let's get you two in to go and get those apples out. That's fine. And we shall keep those apples because they are useful for feeding the pigs and such like. We just keep those. It's just a fun little thing to just, you know, help our farm tick over a little bit. And they'll be done in not very long. That doesn't take long to do that orchard. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing a thing. Oh, yes. I was getting rid of these, wasn't I? It's absolutely fine. Right. Okay. Here we go. So you... Sell all these turkeys. Sell, 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 sell. Selling all the turkeys. Splendid. Caregiver, clear. Okay, that's good. So you're now done. You don't need to worry about this anymore. You don't need to worry. Go, go and have a little rest for a bit, please. Thank you very much. We shall obliterate that place from existence. Splendid news. And then let's look at building one of these. Now, how expensive is is it? How costly is one of these? Um, 50 grand. So if I had the thing which was 10% cheaper buildings, it would save me 5 grand. Yeah, kind of neither here nor there at the minute, isn't it? 5 grand. So how big is one of those? Wowie! <laughs> okay! Okay. That's quite big. That's far bigger than I was expecting it to be. Um, right. Okay. Well, let's put one of those, let's put one of those in, because I, I, I like the idea of it. Let's drop one of those in sort of, that's a pigsty, medium shed. So we need paths that way and that way. So can we have it uh, like that maybe? Can we have it like that with a path down the side and then a path going round the top? Oh, this is this is a, probably an idiotic way around of doing this. This is probably a really terrible way of doing this. Right, get a path, run that down to there. And then up sort of this way as much as we can, like that. Double path, because people are going to be coming in. They're going to be driving in from the um, slaughterhouse thing to obviously take the animals in, because we'll get goat meat and what have you. So that's fine. Uh, have you finished plowing? No, not quite finished. So if we then go to build the thing, build that, the medium shed, rotate it so it's like that, possibly. Uh, or is that the best way around of doing it? Is that the best way around? Or is that the best way? To have it actually on the road. That might be the best way to do it, just there. So let's drop that in just there. Splendid tree. Get paid money for a tree. I know that now. Okay, so money's dropped below a million for the first time in a little while. But we're going to have lots of goats in there, which is jolly exciting. Yeah, we need to move these around as well. Uh, breeding. Oh, pigs. Yep. Yeah. Get some pigs. That's fine. Right, you're still plowing those fields. That's good. Hurry time on. Let's get something done. Let's either get this thing finished or the research done or you finish plowing this field or whatever. Some animals are ready for breeding. Well, at least we know it's not the flipping turkeys, eh? There we go. That was good. So, yeah, this should be built soon. This is exciting. New building we've not seen before, everybody. New building. Okay, that looks like it's going to take a little while to complete that building. She is finished up here, which is good. Uh, yeah, it takes a little while to do this, doesn't it? Right, let's... Oh, she, it still counts as though she's doing something. Come on, you, you're finished now. Now let's cultivate this field with the gigantic cultivator thing. Now I'm intrigued to see how quick this is. So she's going to go out and she's walking very slowly. It's taking half the day just to get into the vehicle. Okay, get the massive plough thing. So, yes, look at that. So, it opens out, look. So, it sticks up in the air. It's all sort of folded in. And then when you actually come to do the thing, it just widens. Ah, oh, that's tremendous. I like that. 
Yeah, okay, good. And we've got a blue tractor. Very exciting blue tractor. I like it. Yep, so that's good. We've got that going on. This is splendid. Should be done with that soon. Is our new building done? It is finished. Very exciting. Okay, food, auto manage. Caregivers two. Oh, okay. It requires more people. Okie dokie. That would make sense, I guess. Um, that's full. That house is full. Robin Harper doesn't have anything to do because she should be here. So let's assign Robin. So you can go to just there, which is which is lovely and fine. That's good. Um, who can we move possibly from somewhere else? Yeah, we can't really move anybody. Who looks after these? Would it be easier if you were over there? Ah, right. Who, who looks after you? Lucy Alley. Is there room in this house? No, that's eight out of eight. But yeah, you two are a bit rubbish. Why did I get these two people? Why did I employ Lily Coleman and George Webb? I can't quite recall why I would have would have picked those people. Because they're not very skilled at anything. Can't quite recall what the logic was there. I would like to move them out, if at all possible. Move you two out. Put you over in that house for now, perhaps. Yeah, let's move... Let's move Lily. Or... Or... Are bees done now? Are the bees finished? I mean, are they still doing anything? No, it's August. Bees would be busy in August, wouldn't they? I thought bees would be quite busy in August. Uh, chickens, thank you very much. Oh, pigs. Pigs again. Yep, yeah, we'll get some more pigs. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out how we can best move people about. You in there, Lucy Alley, could live in that house. That would be far better for you. So let's move Lily Coleman who, for some reason, I've, I've, I've got, and I don't quite know why. Can we put her in that house? Uh, or that one? No, yeah, you could go in that. No, not that one. That one. You could go in that house just there. Why not? Pop you into that house, because there's room. There you go. So there's a little bit of a space. And then uh, Lucy Alley could relocate to... Uh, Lucy Alley could... Relocate. Te I don't want you to teleport. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Whoa! Crazy stuff going on. There you are. Uh, you're just here. Having a little walk about. Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay. We've kind of gone through the middle of her head. But that's fine. We get to see what it looks like from the ground. Look, this is what she's looking at. Oh, God. This is really... I like this. I mean, you can walk a bit quicker. We need to equip it with mopeds or something, don't we? You can see the chickens. You can see the chickens. There's someone with a box. Don't bang into each other. Don't bang into each other. Okay, possibly need to be a little bit more careful with that. Ah, are you going back home? Are you going to go and have a little sit down? There's my house. Yeah, my brilliant house. Okay, now what happens when we go in? What happens when we open the door? Yeah, it goes a bit strange. <laughs> okay, no, come out of that. It's all gone a bit weird. Right, she's gone in there. So, Lucy Alley. Can we, ah, relocate. Yes. Relocate to uh, that one, Bosch. So she relocates to there. So she's a bit nearer, which is fine. And that means we've got a space here, free, seven out of eight, to employ a new person. And then they can work in here. Because at the minute, there's only one caregiver. And I assume it needs two to function. Oh, and sales training is done. Yep, let's get the next thing. Let's start something going pretty much straight away. Uh, let's get the cheap, quick things in for now. So, like, the minimum price of products and the maximum price of products. What's quick in terms of days? Oh, everything takes ages. We do want to get this at some point as well. Before we get the orchards in and we get our seasonal workers in, we want to get that done as well. Okay. Let's go for... Let's go for this one, then. Again, increasing the minimum price of products and crops by 20%. 14 days... That's going to be fine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's get that in because we can make more money on the things we've got. Now we can hire a new person, an animal person. Are there any animal people around? Uh, there's a few people with multiple skills. I don't need you to have multiple skills. Ideally, strength and animal keeping would be really, really useful. But I don't think we see that very often. There's a strength person. And they're all seasonal workers who we don't particularly need. Okay, well, let's do that thing again then. Go through. Hire. There we go. Olivia Freeman looks pretty good. 
Yep, there's nobody else in the list that is as good as her or indeed as affordable in terms of the um, the pay we're giving her. Because, yeah, he's only a little bit low, but we'd have to spend quite a bit of money on him to train him up where she's already quite good. Well, she's quite good. She's absolutely maxed out the skill of caring for animals. So let's do this and let's hire her. Put her in uh, that house, which is beautiful. Then we can drop you into here. Choose Olivia Freeman. And then we can buy ourselves some goats. Um, right, what food can they have? They can have silage. Also some apples. Okay, that's fine. Pears. Ah, okay. So we could do pear. We could do a field of pears. Right, well, let's have one, two, three, four, five. Let's have, I don't know, 20 goats to start with which is exciting. I like the idea of 20 goats. And then we can go to here. We can take off the turkeys because... Uh, I don't know. They, have they got turkey meat in there still? Have they got turkeys? Oh yeah, right. So they're working on turkeys. That's fine. We need to make sure they finish doing the turkey meat. Uh, yeah, what, what, Zero. Nothing. Don't bother with turkeys. There's none in there. It's fine. I don't care about turkeys anymore. I'm done with them. Uh, goats, however. Yeah. Do some goats, take above, and let's have above, uh, I don't know, arbitrary number of uh, 15. That's half. That's fine. So 15. So always take the goats. Go and eat goats, please. Okay, good. Now I'm excited to see what goats look like. Let's just hurry that along. Oh, has she done that? Has she done the field? Yes, well done. Well done. You go and do the other field quick. There we go. Time is ticking on. Time is ticking on. We need to get these done. What's ready for harvesting? Ah, those strawberries. Beautiful. We should get you guys on it right now. Okay, it's looking very, very good. It's looking good. Now, this is intriguing. I think this is where the goats are coming in. Goaty goats. <gasps> bing, 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 bing. They teleport the goats in. Yay, goats. Hello, goats. Ah, oh, it's very exciting. You can hear them bleating. Ah, oh, it's very cool. There they are. Goats. I like that. That's very cool. <laughs> Such a child. It's very exciting. I've got goats. Okay, and in a big building as well, which is good. So we should start seeing goat milk. Uh, um, I can't help noticing that this isn't doing anything again. Are they making cheese at any point? Or has this gone a bit weird again? Are you actually doing anything, you lot? Are you making products of any kind? Or is it kind of glitched again? Uh, employees, there's three of them, full strength, nothing is happening. Uh, I mean, this is an important source of income. This is a bit tedious. Right, normal speed. Clear you three out of there. Go on, go home or something for a bit. I don't know what you're doing, but get out of the building because it makes it go wrong. And then put you immediately back in. So Amelia, Turner, Naya, Spencer, Albert, Gordon, or Luke Long. Do you know what? Luke Long can go in. He can do some work in the cheese factory. He can ha uh, hone his skills as a cheese maker. Right. Can you all get back in here and get on with it, please? Yeah, that's very annoying. The fact that keeps going wrong. Keeps glitching out. So, yeah. Are they actually working on stuff now? The cheese... What have they got? They've got nothing actually in. They've got nothing here. So they've got no milk to make anything. Which is not brilliant <laughs> that doesn't help you need to you need to get some products in here that would help an awful lot you need to get some milk right that's what you do go get milk oh it's it's glitched horribly hasn't it there's loads of cow's milk in there would you like to go and retrieve some in order to then make the cheese that would be absolutely spiffing if you could work that out that would be aces and cool man no not going for it mm, okay so let's just... Oh, right, is she doing that field as well? Yeah, cool, man. Right, okay, now we can fertilise these fields. Might as well get these in. Uh, I have enough resources <laughs> for fertilising. Okay, but only just. Only just. Okay, yep. Go and use the big tractor and the spreader. Go and do that, please. Yeah, this isn't very good, is it? This has gone wrong again because they've got no resources in and they're not going to get them for some reason. So let's clear all of those out. We just leave them. They can just all go home or whatever. Maybe we need to reload the game, which is a bit tedious. don't want to reload the game. It takes ages. One thing I will say about this game is that it takes an absolute age to load. If the devs can improve that, I would be very happy. It takes... I mean, bear in mind that my farm isn't that big. 
it's not gargantuan. It's not like a massive mega farm full of you know, millions and millions of things. It's got, what, three tiles. Really, this tile hasn't really got anything in it. So it's got two fairly full tiles now. It takes well over three minutes to load the game. So you go, load! Then you have three minutes, maybe even up to four minutes. Where you just, you could just do anything. You could just sit about. You can go make a cup of tea. That's what I normally do. So yeah, there's, it, it does take a very long time to load. So dev people, if you're watching this, if you could hurry that along, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is stuck. Because this vehicle here, normally this door is shut. This door is closed. So um, yeah, that's not working. Okay, fine. We'll have to take a bit of a hit on that because I don't want to reload it right now. Because it will take forever and ever and ever. Right, that field is... Is, that, is she fertilised that field there? Yes, this is very good. Okay, this field. Do that with manure again. Auto fill. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Not with people. With machine. Yep, do it with the machine, please. That would be stupid. And then here, let's order ourselves uh, apple trees. So, yeah, let's put apple trees into this one. You do not have enough resources. Indeed. 156 ooze of apple trees. So let's order 156 ooze of apple trees. Right. That's good. So they're on their way. They're going to be delivered. 156 ooze of apple tree. Then this thing can be done. So we'll get this working. That can be finished. Finish fertilising that, which is good. Okay, we need to get onto lots of other things as well. We need, oh, there's so much to do. So much to do. The tomatoes are done. So now we want them to very quick grab those. Animals are ready for breeding, which is good. One thing we do need to do is if we are generating as it is now, if we sell where would it be? Goat's milk. We're making goat's milk, aren't we? So, uh, 2,300 already on the goat's milk. Okay, and the price has tanked. Pretty much around the time I got the goats, I can't help but notice. So, what we need to do is go into there and go into trade, eventually, and find the goat's milk if the list stop populating so find goat milk wherever it may well be in this list and we shall populate that and say yes auto sell it please uh apart from i can't see it i've gone completely blind goat's milk where are you goat's milk there it is uh yeah that is initially i think it's an alphabetical order of course it is it goes apple buckwheat honey Chicken egg, chicken meat, coals a cow, cow's milk, goat's milk, L, then then to M for manure, pig, then sheep, then wheat, then apple juice, <laughs> then buckwheat. It's a bit, well, hang on. So it's it's in alphabetical order up to a point, is it? I don't get it. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Right, goat's milk. Sell all of it, please. Sell all of the goat's milk. All 586.71 litres of it. That seems like quite a lot of goat's milk. Wowee. Well done, goats. Yeah, you're welcome. You're, you're good. We like you here on the farm. Okay. Has the stuff arrived? Can we plant our things? So yeah, we need to autofill. I oh, know we haven't chosen the thing yet. Apple trees. Autofill with Sienna Moore, Amelia Turner and Naya Spencer because they're not doing anything else at the minute. So we might as well get them to do this. So there we go. Speed time on. Let's see how this works. Because they are going to sit in the back. Now, when we saw this before in the demo, this was quite fun. This looked like it might be quite enjoyable. So, it's going to, they're going to come down here. She's gone to pick up the things, I assume, in the tractor. And she's gone to pick up the actual resources. Right, so she comes back. They start... we love in the middle? Don't start in the middle. Start at the ends. So, they're going to get in and sit there, which is fun. Whee! <laughs> they're looking at each other as well. They're looking at each other. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, very good, thank you. How are you? Oh, I planted a tree. Oh, well done, so did I. Come on, you can fit trees closer together than that. Yeah, look, they just... <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I like that a lot. Can we get right down on the ground? Yes, we can. Oh, look. That's good. I like that. Wee. <laughs> oh, they're having a fun time. That's absolutely lovely. Well done, you lot. Uh, yeah, look, there we go. I can't, I can't keep up. The tractor is quick. Yeah, there we go. Good. So they'll start getting on with that, which is fine. We then want to possibly order cherries for this field, because I've never ordered cherries before. The thing is, how long do they last? Cherry saplings. Like, if I order 156 ooze of cherry saplings, are they going to survive? I really don't know. 
Right, well, let's hurry this along. You can go into there. You can get all that done. Bish, bash, bosh, bosh, bosh. Lots of apple trees going in. Oh, my goodness. This is going to make a gigantic harvest, isn't it? The amount of stuff we're going to get out of this. Wow, it's going to be... There's going to be a great deal of apples going on. Okay, so they're, they're, they're getting that done. They're getting that done. And so what I'd like is, before we finish this particular video, is I want to get that done as well. I want to get the cherries in. I want to get the cherry fields done. Now, yeah, we've got a plan for all these for next time. It's fine. Uh, oh, dear, yes. That field, the coals are just there. The soil moisture is very low. Oh, dear. You yeah, might have to look at that, possibly. Okay, right, you've done this. Now let's do the cherries. Cherry saplings. Uh, machines. Autofill. Yep, you guys do the same sort of thing. That's fine. Oh, look. Yay. Tiny little teeny tiny trees that will grow to be big trees, which is very, very good. Um, Yeah, this field is, is dying. This field is not well, and it's going to come down soon, isn't it? Now, it is September, so I think bees might go away soon. So can we harvest this? Can we go through and harvest this? You two. Yeah, why not? Get you two on that. That field's still pretty good, Nick, so we don't need to do that to you. Are any of these fields a little bit unwell? That one is certainly deteriorating in quality. That one is fine. So let's get the buckwheat out of this one as well. Let's just do that. Buckwheat, yeah. Work on those fields now. It's absolutely fine. So yeah, let's just make sure they're working on this okay. Getting the cherries in. Gone to get the tractor. Tractor's going to go and get the stuff. They're just patiently waiting at the edge of the field. Okay, go on then. Hop on. Why couldn't you have gone just there? Why couldn't you have parked just there? That's where they were stood. Okay, look. Look. Cherry trees. Cherry trees. Very exciting. Okay, that's good. Interesting factoid. There was a, um, a cherry tree. Well, there still is. There is a cherry tree in my garden. The garden of my very actual house where I live, right? And I am right now. But um, unfortunately, it was it was gargantuan. And because uh, it, it basically dropped the cherries on the floor, as happens with trees, and then there were wasps. There were many, 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 many wasps. So um, we've cut back the tree quite severely because... Uh, small children and wasps. And me, I don't want to get stung either, but small children and wasps <laughs> do not mix. It is a bad, bad thing. Right, they're nearly done. And... Voila, splendid. Yes. So they're going to very slowly grow. 281 days. Or how? What's the grow on that? 284. So it's exactly the same amount of time. Okay. Right, well, while you're doing that then, let's get... Oh! There's something wandering about on my... Field. Oh, yay! Hello. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a deer or a fawn or whatever it would be. Right, this field then. Let's get these done then. Let's plant these if we can get maybe at least one more done by the time winter comes around. I mean, yeah, we've got almost a whole season because winter in this game begins on the twenty first of December, I believe, because it uses like farmers' ones. And someone did point that out in a comment actually, which I thought was very astute of them. But yeah, it uses the um, like the ones from farmers' almanacs and stuff, the uh, sort of seasonal dates for that. So it goes from the 20, 21st of March, I think, is when spring begins. 21st of what? March, April, May, June would be... 21st of June would be summer. Uh, June, July, August, September would be... 21st September would be autumn or fall. And the 21st of December would be winter. So yeah, 20th of December, not winter, apparently, according to farmers. Last thing I want to do then, let's make sure that these fields are all done. They're doing quite a good job of this. They've kind of got to that point. Oh, they took the crops out. That's fine. So, yeah, so we need to just sort of bail these up. That's fine. The orchard people can do that. Off you go, orchard people. What about over here? That one's been done, has it? Yep, that's also been done. Right, so, yep, scoop all that stuff up, please. You two can do that. Very good. Animals ready for breeding. Who is ready? It's the sheep. Splendid. Okay, this is going well. Oh, and cows. Cows, yes. Okay, that's coming up more frequently, even just with the 10% boost. The cow breeding is is notably increased. Uh, okay, and some strawberries. Have we got a couple of people that can do this quite well? Um, do you know what? Yeah, George, actually, George Webb. George, Georgie, George, 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 George Webb. Uh, let's go in here, George Webb. Let's find George Webb. Staff list. George Webb. Are they in any sort of alphabetical order? Are they in any kind of sensible order at all of any kind? I don't think they are. Uh, no. So, George Webb, just there. Might as well train you up in that. Bosch. 
You're now the most... Oh! Hooray! You have achieved a thing! What did I get? A thousand! Oh, okay, so it only cost me 800 for that. That's fine. Um, and then, um, yeah, do that, please. And he's not even there. <laughs> Trained him up. And he's not even going to flip him while well, bother. Okay, George Webb, fine. Thanks. Like, that is it, George Webb. Uh, okay, yeah, let's try and keep this going as much as we can. Let's do that with the machine. Keep going. The tractor's already wearing down a little bit. Maybe we need to do that training. In fact, we're not doing any training right now. Let the ball slip on that. Machine durability, 10%. Yeah, why not? Seven days. Nice and quick. Nice and cheap. Just get that done. Just get it done. Get it out of the way. That is absolutely fine. And I think... I think we're going to call it a day right there. So I think we've actually done quite a lot so far. So next time out, we'll get these two fields done. That'll be good. Fortunately, it's raining... I don't know if this is going to make much difference to these fields. But, um, yeah, it's raining, which is good. It's good for the fields. This stuff is then going to be done. Collect the bells. Yeah, so that colza field is now no more. This buckwheat field is no more. These are then going to be needed to be done next time anyway because they're going to be dying because the seasons are moving on. Yeah, look, the quality of that one actually is okay. The quality of that is okay. The quality of that is fine. Animals are ready for breeding. It's the pigs. Jolly good. Thank you very much. So, yes, yeah, so next time we'll have those done. We shall have those done. And then we'll get the... Yeah, we'll work on all the fields. It shall be fine. We'll get all those things in. We have to choose whether we want to do cherries or pears. Um, or apples. We need to figure out what we want to put in those orchards. Because pears we can feed our own things with. Our own animals. But obviously pears don't last forever. You can't make juice out of those. So do I just go for another apple and another cherry field and do it that way? I don't know. I don't know what the best approach is. We'll have a look. See, part of me just says, yeah, just split it 50-50 and it's all fine. It's all good. Part of me thinks, but it, cherries make more money. But then they also they can't churn out cherries as quickly or something. I don't know. There must be some advantage or disadvantage. I am not sure. Right. Yeah, go back in the tractor. Do that. And we are done for now. So hopefully when I reload it, this will work as well. The milk processing plant will be back in operation. I must remember to do that when I come back. Hopefully I'll see the little sign. But, um, yeah, that's a bit annoying as well. That bug is a little bit irritating, to be honest. I'd like it if they could sort that out, because, yeah, the uh, work have just gone on strike, it seems. And they've made no milk, no uh, no milk, no cheese. And cheese, quite profitable. It was one of the big selling points. The meat and the cheese was kind of what this whole thing was built on initially. Obviously, we've spread out a little bit since then. But, um, yeah, that's what we kind of built it on. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be sorted when we come back next time as well. So if you've enjoyed this, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on on the farm. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, sir, a cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, madam. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor.